Hey guys, welcome back to another Let's Part. Yeah, Let's Part. Jesus, part of Let's Play Ape Escape. And the last part, we went through some. We finished up the mysterious age, cryptic relics. Never really finished, finished, but we got the Spectre Coin, the five, six monkeys. I don't remember what it was. Then we got through Dimension X of the Sandy Attack against Jake, and now we're starting the Oceana time period with Krabby Beach. You got a new thing, oh boy! I don't need him explaining it. Okay, who? Oh boy. Use this thing to pretty much, you, you rotate the right stick around, and then you like speeds like this, and whenever you enemies, you murder them. You just massively murder them, and then they're, they have no source of income, and then, you know, their families die off, you know, it's so cruel, Spike's so cruel. Hey, at least I could say, at least he puts, throws a spike into their family lives, into their plans. Oh, it's like saying throwing a wrench, a thorn, into their plans. Oh, I was kind of hoping I could do that with that one. Yeah, so this one you can sit there and spin it while staying completely immobile and then going. You don't have to, like, run for a head start. You don't have to worry about that. Yeah, whatever. Uh, so let's see, what is it? It's capture five monkeys out of eight and one spectacle. coin. See, five is usually like a normal number for a lot of the worlds until you it later on. And then they're like, capture 12, capture 15, capture 20. And it's like, oh my god. What? Let's go. uh, so, anyways, getting these ones would be that bad. I mean, they're okay. Let's make one scan that same castle, one sitting in that freaking. What is that? Is that a sunbed? Something like that? I don't know. See, what you can do with this one is you can crawl up to him, stand up, and just jump up and swing. And there you go. It's that one. It's that simple. Okay, so before I say anything, we see over there is like that box with the red, two red squirrel. Squirrels. So that's what happens when I try explaining something. The two red squares and the one blue square. You get the required amount of monkeys, which means get rid of the red squares and fill up the blue squares, and then you can continue on. It's like it's like that simple, I'm not kidding you. Right. So I'm not sure if these crabs are actually gonna bother. Oh, they'll get him here. Build him his little sand castle. I think. I think there's one in the line. I knew it! I was gonna say there's one swimming. What was that? Come on, simple as that. I thought he was already swimming under the water. So that's why I see him. Oh, okay. Then he jumps in the water. Well, that answers my question. Oh, there's one more. Your vacation has been run short. Yeah. <laughs> you can also destroy the side cast like this and you see like a rectal dysfunction and I don't know, do you get something? I thought it was like a spectacle. Uh, I thought I thought the spectacle had one of the um, trees, but never mind. I gotta stop hitting this freaking table when I have my uh, microphone up because then you guys get the <laughs> sounds. Uh, oh, yeah, he's a bulb. I kinda don't wanna alert him because then he'll jump on his freaking little itty bitty spaceship thing and fly away. I wish I could reach him, but I can't. There's two of them over here? Oh, oh my god, Jackpot. They need to go on the switch, don't they? Oh. Ah. I wonder if I can get that one on the button. Let's see, can I get him? We're gonna get him. Yes. I did. I don't have to worry about the other one. Yes. Well, he'll well, be going back to them when I come back, when I get the certain item that I'm hoping I'll get soon. Mm. 
because that's how I'll, I'll get the one at top of the ledge and how I'll get the one way back I think in the second level or you know the second one in this the um, freaking T-Rex prop the jungle one way back there uh, I'm not sure if I remember if I get in the beginning part of the next level I'll kind of do some backtracking I'm trying to remember what this one was. I think this this one isn't that bad. I actually can do this one pretty quick. Capture five monkeys out of eight with one spectre coin. So yeah, uh, yeah, this is that one where they have the shark and the hammerhead, right? Oh yeah. yeah. I remember this. Let's go. Yeah, this is the one where it has the monkey up there where you like, yeah, and you can't, you can actually go. Oh yeah, that one on the, the infamous one on the hammerhead where it's uh, on the back of the case. I remember that. I wonder if there, I've never actually tried this before, but can you actually them? Yeah, I it makes me curious. I think you can, but I'm not sure. No, you can't. You can't hit him when he's on the Right. You have to literally go in the water, take damage, and do this. I am not kidding you. Did I just do it? Yeah, I remember doing like one time ago, and it was like, oh my god. Nerve wracking. I don't know what's that, actually. Okay. Alright, so this one we want to bring out the uh, super hoop. Because you want to get up to the platform, obviously. Again! Boom! Got his little flower steering buddy, he jumps down. Lord of flower. I knew he was gonna go in that water. I knew it! I knew it, I knew it. Yeah, it wasn't a good idea jumping in this water, and I wasn't. Ook, ook, ee, ook. Yeah, that's right. Uh, okay, so I came up here. I don't remember if I can get him. Yeah, whatever. There's not much else I can do here. I have to continue on to get past the shark. I can either go straight or go to the right. If I go to the right, I'll get that monkey that's up on the ledge, which I'm not going to worry about that because I'm going to go back here and there's a cave system. It's kind of like a maze and there's a submarine and there's a bunch of here I can get right away. I came up there with this bad attitude. I'm sorry, but your child has attitude issues and I can't reach him. Okay, take one of these alternative paths. I can build crawl to him. Ow. Oh yeah, use my temporary invincibility. So yeah, I might not be able. I might be able to get him before he jumps in there. Yes, I got him before he jump in his little UFO. Sweet. Oh, fighting the UFOs is a pain. Oh my god, took damage, but it was so worth it. He's kind of up above the opposite area. Uh, I can just jump in here and not worry about those. Yeah. You, no one likes you. I thought there was a spectre. I'll, I'll be getting spectre coins later on. I ain't gonna worry about them that much now because I don't really know. Yeah. Yeah. I don't need to worry about them that much. Okay. I could actually go back and get that one, but. Oh, yeah, he's in that freaking turret. Yeah, 
Oh, let's do this. Oh. Screw you, monkey. Look at that. I'm using the power of slopes. Oh, yeah. 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 Thank God for the power of slopes and turrets that can't aim downward or down. Make this shoot at a perfect angle. Alright, whatever. I have no problem with that being that simple. <laughs> no problem at all. Alright guys, so in the next episode of Ape Escape, we do the third level of Oceana, which is... You'll see in the next video. Okay guys, I'll see you later then.